Hi. Okay, so what do we see here? We see here, of course, a battery. This battery is uh, from a 9 bot ES2 scooter, a very known scooter in the market. And eventually, this battery is not working. What I've done uh, in order to um, to disassemble it this is of course the, the cover okay and I use a knife in order to cut between uh, the two let's say soldering this is plastic soldering parts of uh, this battery <laughs> and after I disassemble it now I see that there are two screws there is an epoxy on this side of the connector. There are two connectors. The connector, are of course, the battery power out is 40 volts. And this is, of course, uh, all the uh, serial connection and uh, the interface with the uh, scooter itself. Um, okay, so this is, a, you, you can see this is a plug there are here two boards connected on each other and in order to disassemble this one I see there is a Phillips screw beneath the epoxy and we try to, now that I know that it exists to open it it will be easier because everything is now cracked so let's remove this screw out okay we can now remove it also i have the screw on the other side maybe there are three screws i'm not sure right now i can see only two of them one that was out and the second will be out in a second and it's out now of course uh, when you're disassembling battery the lithium battery can explode and they are dangerous and you should know what you're doing and it is not recommended to do it if you unless you are pretty sure what you're doing now if you will look here there is a PCB that is connecting between all uh, the cells so, oh, 1.1 cell, this, this cell is dead. When the voltage re is reaching below 2.5 volts, so probably this is the, the, the uh, problem why uh, this battery stopped working. We'll go between the cells. I don't know why I don't see the connection here. Let's move to other cell. 2.6 we can save this cell 2.5 wow this is very low and okay so eventually the, the battery uh, situation is very bad <laughs> if i can save any cell this is like one minute before it is totally dead okay so now i would remove the cup here if I will be able to do it oh this is a plug that now the plug was disconnected as you see and there is a third screwdriver third uh, Phillips screw that I can see here now so I will try to disassemble the last one This is really beneath all the epoxy. It's pretty hard to get out. Okay, I will do it in a minute. And uh, I'm trying. Now I need to remove this PCB. The, there are two additional screws, not, 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 uh, not one. What I will do, I will move to the other side. It will be easier for me. 
to open the screws hopefully I'll try maybe this one okay it seems that it is working okay. so you have four screws that are catching beside the epoxy of course and if I remove them all probably this is the way it is made before they are putting the epoxy on the top ok so now everything is epoxy 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 so the, the, you can see here there is of course a processor and a balancer and everything and there are two boards so this is one and this is the second connected to each other with these headers that are going to, to this header and on the other side and now what I want to see now is another thing that I can see here so if you will look closely this is just a guess of mine of course uh, we, we have here a um, 10 cells connected in serial but each cell has two parallel cells so the two of these connected to two of these the two of this and then we have 40 volts because when they are fully charged exactly it is 42 because each cell is a uh, 4.2 when it is fully charged I can test you can see 2.5 now it's, it is easier 2.8 it's not balanced this is wow totally dead I have totally dead cell and another totally dead and 2.9 of course I, I can save some of the cells this one is 1.1 1 .1 dead zero totally dead 2.6 2.5 and I can't measure the other one another interesting thing is of course this is a temperature material uh, or resistors that changes its resistance according to the temperature of the cell you want to make sure that the cell is not too hot and uh, now we'll continue this assembly another interesting thing is that I think that this resistor well the balancing resistor which means when you need to do a, a balance if one cell is charged too much so you started to discharge it so you have a transistor and you have the resistor that is doing uh, the part of uh, discharging the cell uh, during this uh, method okay so now let's disassemble it very simple you have all the PCB on this side on the other side what need to do it is not solder it is actually uh, done with a uh, pulse spot welding because I can see the welding so we'll see how easy it is to open it if at all yes it's not like it is possible of course when doing it try not to short anything even if the cells are not very charged I don't want to do any short, so I will start to disassemble the cells. It's not an easy task. 
okay because you need to cut all the parts here and the parts are not soldered they are welded so not very easy to do hopefully other will go much smoother try to catch it all together and then doing like around like you see here around up but the last point is always hard to disconnect Okay, let's continue. Oh, this one was fully done. Good. to find the magic way to do it the second you can see it done completely well just need to find the edge try maybe with a screwdriver and then use the cutter okay I'm improving myself this is very well done. This one we said is not perfect, but it's look like it is cut. Now I will move it to the other side. It will be easier to me because I'm right-handed. Okay. Almost disconnected. Yes, this is disconnected. I guess if I remove all of them, I can just take up the PCB. Okay, done. done here let's see if I can lift now this bit is catch with plastics plastic and it's also seem like it is glued I'm not sure about the glue up oh. as you can see you can do it Some of the cutting can't be done, you have to cut it with a knife or something. It will not be easy. Okay, this one is totally broken. Very hard to disconnect it. use a knife it won't open it doesn't let me open it This one is also totally cut. Ok, 
Okay, so you get the idea. Just need to struggle it a little. The cutter will eventually cut it out. beginning do it as good as you can because it will be much 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 easier when you catch everything all together okay this one is also out so what I'm doing now, so the butter. Okay, it's not easy to disconnect, but can be done. Here is almost the last one. Here the last one. Okay, so let's remove also the temperature matter. Ah, all out one side. So now I can remove between the batteries. I don't want them to be connected now to each other. You don't want all the metals to be on your desk while doing it, so avoid metals. Again, if it is charged, you don't want to take a risk of shorting something. Okay, okay, looking good. So the way is to get this up and this up and then do it like this. And then if you have any other connection, just cut it. Okay, this side is better. This side is a little catched. Okay, you must cut everything because if you will not do it, it will be very hard to disconnect them. to find the magic touch yes do it fast and it will open ok 
trying to catch it symmetrical and then do a fast a very fast twist everything like this till it is up like this a few more to go Off. Last one. The last one doesn't go out. I love the metal here. Cut it. Okay, you have to be really uh, careful again with all the metals. Very, very careful. Okay, all off. Now let's see what is sticking all these guys together. Now all the batteries are disconnected from each other, so the potential risk is much lower. And now, ha, just remove it like this. And you have packs of batteries that are ready to use now you can test each one and of course you can remove between uh, the forces and I just to and let test them while uh, they are disconnected in a few seconds so this is the ES uh, 9 volt internal battery this is not external this is the internal inside uh, internal one okay so now let's see which cells are okay and which are not because everything is disconnected so this one for example can be saved on the other side this is totally dead so need to disassemble and throw it to garbage second 
this is five seconds before it is dead you have to recharge it fast this one can be saved you can everything bigger than 2.5 is okay this one is totally dead when I say this one, the two cells, because they are connected in parallel. These two cells are totally dead, so this can be thrown to garbage, everything. It's not worth trying to revive it. This is five minutes before it is going to die. And this is dead already. So again, this one is also not in a very good position this is almost charged it's, it's not almost it need to be 4.2 but 3 volts is ok the other side totally dead ok so now what I want to do this goes out and also this part should go out somehow for example with screwdrive I'm sure because all the parts look ah there is epoxy here so I need to remove the epoxy and then I will be able to remove this plastic out don't know why it is sketched so well I'm sure it should go out ok This is like the, the cover of it, so I'll check it later. So I will show you now how to revive, it's very simple. So let's take the guy that we set, 2.5 and almost dead. This is 2.8, it's okay. 2.6 and 2.5 okay so what you are doing you are just using a power supply with 4.2 volts set it let's say to 4 volts 1 amp and just apply power and you will see the voltage going up So I will measure it while it is charging. You will see that the voltage is going up. And if you can see it going up slowly, it means that the battery is in a good condition because it takes time to charge it. If you will see it go immediately to 4.2, so it is that you can throw it away. But now I'm charging at 1 amp, I have a current limit, and if it is charging like this, so it's okay. That's all, hope you enjoy, bye bye.